Arena, a big football stadium adjacent. And this is unfolding inside. Akane Yamaguchi somehow wriggling out of game two to win in straight games, continuing in her fine, unblemished form. Six wins, no losses for Akane. Now, our first women's doubles of session two, Fukushima and Matsu Tomo take on Effler and Lohau of Germany. And as you can see, well, the Germans are, are far more au fait with playing with each other off a career high ranking of 30th in the world for Fukushima and Matsutomo. Well, they're not regular partners. Indeed, they're a sort of scratch partnership. Unranked, 28-year-old and 29-year-old respectively, but very, very good. Fukushima, of course, at the uh, pinnacle of her women's doubles discipline with uh, her more regular partner, Hirota. For whatever reason, she's not playing. So, uh, a fresh look to the Japanese first doubles pairing today. Fukushima and Matsu Toma. Linda Effler, 26 years of age, leading the way, 1 meter 78 from Mulheim uh, and Ruhl. Isabel Lohau, two years older, born in Hersbruck, and residing in the same place as her partner. Just uh, 10 centimeters or so shorter in stature, and a very good player in her own right. And as I say, off a career high ranking of 30 in the world. This year they've won four matches, lost eight of the 12 that they've played the Germans. But today will be a very tough ask. First meeting between these two. Isabel. So just building up to this first women's doubles, the warm-up will begin. We'll take a look at uh, y Yuki Fukushima. The world number one with Sayaka Hirota, born in Kumamoto, 28 years of age, 1m64. And uh, with... She's done everything in the game, hasn't she, this one? 5'5", five five, frankly. Eight years of age. Gold medalist at the Asian Games and the women's team event and the women's doubles as well. Misaki Matsutomo, absolutely electrically quick, the 29 year old. Just a year older from Tokushima. And again, she's been at the pinnacle of the game as well with Takahashi alongside. Rio 2016 Olympic gold medalist is uh, Matsutomo and Effler. That's been just a couple of spots higher. 28 in the world with her partner Isabel Lohau. There she is, recently married. Well, in the Sudan Cup, they lost to uh, Kim Soo Young and Kong Hee Young in straight games on the Sunday. On the Tuesday, the uh, F flat played with Volker and they lost to Li and Su Ya Ching from Ready to play. Chinese Taipei. And they had a, a win over Tahiti in the end. So, yet to play here. Effler and Lohau saving their best for this punishing encounter. Didn't contest yesterday's tie as a consequence of exactly that reason. So has it served them well 
They'll need to get a good early start, you since the Germans have been such quality the other side of the net. But they've been quite a finalist of the European Championships this year. Effler and Lohau. And they're regularly featuring in semi-finals and quarter-finals of big events throughout the world. So the Germans much improved. serving to get us underway with the 11 BWF World Tour titles. Three running up showing us as well. Three times a world championship silver medalist in women's doubles. Glasgow 2017, Nanjing 2018, and Basel in the last show in 2019. It was a heady win back in 2018. After a 30, after 37-year wait, the five times former champions became the six times champions when they won the title. Back then, the Uber Cup, Team Japan. And they're so desperate to recreate that here. go all the way back to 1981 their previous title before the win in 2018 for Team Japan the first win was in 1966 twice runners up as well look how quick Mizaki Matsutomo was to close that down Fusion down the middle of the German ranks.
Good play from Lohal. No deadlock in this opening game. Fukushima and Matsutomo teamed up together against uh, Del Rue and Palermo on Saturday in the Uber Cup uh, Group A doubles against France and it only lasted seven minutes. It was a sad state of affairs in the end. But they were 6-5 up in the opening game and then came a horrible incident with um, one of the French players where I think there was an ACL, ACL injury and it was uh, one that we didn't want to replay too much. It was pretty gruesome to look at. I think one of the French players came down after a smash and, and he basically buckled. And that was the end of the match, frankly, which tells you uh, all you need to know. So uh, let's wish... I think it was Leo uh, Palermo in the end. All the very best in recovery. Yeah. Well played from Fukushima, having her way in the end, just battering her way through. So strong, so experienced, and rotating nicely around each other, these two. But uh, Matsutoma must have been delighted having been selected with Fukushima. Again, it's all pretty low key. We don't know what the injury is to Sayaka Hirota, if she is injured at all, or maybe she's just having a rest. Uh, no more. Nozomi Okuhara as well. What's happened to her? Didn't play Suleiman Cap or here. So much pedigree on the German team. She was Olympic bronze medalist in 2016, world champion 2017, Okuhara. All England winner as well this year. Brilliant defence from Fukushima, all smiles there. Finding the hole in the court and starting to look that little bit more relaxed. Look at that. That's how to turn defence into attack. momentarily off for Linda Effler there and 11-8 it is as they head to the interval with the Japanese with a three-point cushion
scoreboard moving around pretty quickly as we went to the interval can they sustain the momentum of a four point run here the team in blue Saw a little bit of hesitancy from Misaki Matsutomo midpoint there in the rotation in the Japanese pairing. And again, the quality is very high. There's no doubting. Both of them ranked very singularly high within their discipline. But of course, it's just getting that little bit more court time and match exposure with those linking between the two. It's not quite entirely intuitive yet. Good pace with the penultimate shot from Yuki. That's a really, really brilliant defensive ploy from Isabel Lohau there with the backhand cross block midpoint there that turned it around and then they got on the front foot and there was no looking back. Terrific from the German couple. Well done. Continuing to turn the screw a little. That's the trouble, isn't it? When you know, from German perspective, when you're playing against players of such stature and experience within their discipline, and although they're a scratch pairing, once they do start to bed in and take root then you've really got issues against them.
Good penetration from the German duo. Utter focus in those eyes from Mizaki and Sun. Tomo oldest player on court, 29 years of age, but ever sprightly. Turn and next shot from Misaki. Look at this, reading the play so nicely. All courtesy of excellent speed of foot. Did that really happen? Let's see this again. Look at this. It just wriggled over somehow. <laughs> and the Japanese all laughs and smiles after that, knowing how fortunate they were. Suddenly, they've got seven game points. After 16 minutes, Fukushima and Matsutomo secure the opening game, 21 points to 13. Game two. Japan taking ownership of the opener. Oh, a wonderful little cross block there. Yeah. 
Oh, that is stunning. From Matsutomo, so caught aware. Look at this. Just sees Isabel Law out sneaking forwards. Too much. Nice. Try though, very creative the Germans in their ploys out here, just mixing up their attack lines. The scoreboard ringing away. So I would have his hesitation. And, uh, that's all it takes. Four points in a row for the blue clad team from Japan. You think you've got the upper hand against these two and then suddenly some of the blocks and pushes in defence that they can engineer are just otherworldly at times. As they extend their lead and crank up the pressure on the German team. Well, some of the decision-making from the Germans now, smacks of hesitancy. They are getting stifled by scoreboard pressure right now. How will they respond? It's just audacious, isn't it? From Misaki Matsutomo there. Just so cleverly done. Saw that her opponent was on the deck and there was no real getting back up. And delicately just nudges that little dropper over the net. Let's see it again. Look at this. And here it comes. <laughs> Classy. Really good. Yeah. 
11-4 to the mid-game integral go uh, Team Japan and buoyed by a lot of support from their camp. They're looking good now. Good play. Determination from Isabel Luhau. Yeah, so little to show on the scoreboard for the German team who are playing some good badminton, but the Japanese defence is just so hard to breach. And a lot of noise spilling in for the two Thomas Cup matches on adjacent courts. One and three. Really fun vibe in here today at the Serra's Arena. All happening in the middle session. Do it all over again at 7pm with the last session of the day. coverage we're all over it for you three o'clock o'clock local time here in the Serra's arena and this one bubbling up nicely Japan eyeing a two love lead in the overall tie against Germany oh, she's embarrassed with that miss a little bit heavy-handed See it again. That's more like it from Misaki. Much tidier. Wonderful little push.
Oh, nicely done from Yuki Fukushima. She liked that one. Took all the pace out of this. Look at this. Lovely little combo. Very deceptive. Yes, just putting the shuttle in really awkward places. Match point eight. Just over half an hour required for Fukushima and Matsutomo here. And that's gone long. And respectfully, the two Japanese women Look very, very good today. Yuki Fukushima and Misaki Matsutomo come through. 21 13, 21 8. Just 32 minutes required for that win. And they are two classy operators with another Group A victory. Two from two. Courtesy of a retirement yesterday after just seven minutes, but uh, they all need to be won. So the masks will be done. And uh, it's over to you guys, they're suggesting now, the likes of uh, Takahashi. And uh, in fact, two Takahashis to come in women's singles, Sayaka and Azuka, and Matsumoto and Matsuyama in women's doubles as well. So Japan, two love up in this tie against Germany. And this was how they put a lid on it. That one spilling over the back line from Linda Effler. And just uh, respectfully keeping their distance. But Japan looking very, very good, as well as gracious and humble as ever. Just great to watch, aren't they? It was a good women's doubles. Fukushima and Matsutomo coming through. It'll be women's singles, the second women's singles up next. Sayaka Takahashi takes on Anne Kathleen Spuri of Germany. Don't go too far.
Welcome back to Old House, steeped in history and tradition. As we take a look at the cathedral spire there. Glorious city it is. So much to offer, so much to do. 